In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called finding a polynomial of a given degree with given zeros, complex zeros. We're told that there's a polynomial f of x, it has a degree 4, and it has a negative 1 0 with multiplicity 2 and a complex 0 of negative 2 plus 3i. And we'll start by noting that if we have a complex 0, then its conjugate, which here would be negative 2 minus 3i, must also be a 0. And again, we should recall that whenever we have a factor like x minus c, then the c is the 0. So when I see here that I have a 0 of minus 1, that means that x minus a negative 1, or x plus 1, must be one of those factors. And since this has a multiplicity of 2, that means I'll have it twice. And then for each of these complex zeros, I can say that that is a x minus a negative 2 plus 3i, and then another factor of x minus the other 0, negative 2 minus 3i. And from here, I would want to simplify this, and I'll start by multiplying the first two here. I can distribute the x, so x times x is x squared, x times 1 is a 1x, 1 times x is another 1x, and 1 times 1, a positive 1. So these first two being multiplied will simplify to x squared plus 2x plus 1. And then for the second two, I also want to distribute. So here I'll start with x times x is again an x squared, x times this complex number, and again, notice that the sign outside is negative, so I'm distributing a negative x inside that parentheses. This would become a positive 2x, and then again distributing the negative x to the second part of that complex number would be a plus 3ix. Moving to the second part of the distribution, I need to distribute this negative complex number here. So first multiplying by the x, since the complex number is negative on the outside, I'm distributing a negative x. So negative x times the negative 2 would be a positive 2x. Negative x times the 3i would be a negative 3ix. And then lastly, multiplying the two complex components here, they're both minus on the outside, so that'll become positive. And for now, I'm just going to leave it negative 2 plus 3i times negative 2 minus 3i. I'll have to come back and distribute that one as well. But I can also combine some like terms. There's only 1x squared, but I do have a 2x and a 2x. That'll combine to be 4x and a plus 3i and a minus 3i, those will cancel. And now I can distribute, when I multiply these two complex numbers, negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4. Negative 2 times a negative 3i is a positive 6i. 3i times a negative 2 is a minus 6i. And a 3 times negative 3i would be a negative 9i i squared. And again, I can simplify by combining like terms here. I can see that the plus 6i and a minus 6i cancel. And recall that this last part here, this minus 9i squared, i squared is negative 1. So that's a minus 9 times negative 1. So a plus 9. And I can combine that with the fort to be a plus 13. So we no longer have any complex numbers. Distributing that first x squared, we would have x squared times x squared, or x to the fourth, and then x squared times 4x, a plus 4x3, x squared times 13, a plus 13x squared. Then distributing that next term, 2x times x squared is a plus 2x3, 2x times a 4x, a plus 8x squared, 2x times 13, a plus 26x, and then the last term, that 1, 1 times x squared is x squared, 1 times 4x is 4x, and 1 times 13 is 13. So combining like terms, I only have one x4 term, 
and I have two x cubed terms. 4x cubed plus 2x cubed a plus 6x cubed. For squared terms, I have a 13x squared and 8x squared, so that would be 21x squared plus one more would be 22x squared. For x terms, I have 26 and 4, so those combine to be 30x and our one constant, 13. So this would be our simplified polynomial that has all of the zeros that were given.